Hi guys, this is Fred from WP Shout, and today I'm going to show you how to use CSS with Beaver Builder. Uh, so how to apply CSS styles that you write to Beaver Builder elements. So the demo I've got for you here is we have this WP Shout courses site where we sell um, tech courses of all kinds. And um, this is the landing page. It's got our photos on it, but these photos would look a lot better rounded. So we're going to figure out how to round these photos using CSS. So uh, you can see everything on the page is laid out as a Beaver Builder, Beaver Builder element. Um, this in particular is a Beaver Builder gallery. It's got three photos. Um, they're laid out as thumbs, so small little sort of stamp shaped uh, uh, images. But you'll see that there's no option within like the Beaver Builder gallery module to round the images. There's no way to do this within like Beaver Builder itself by default. So we're going to have to do it with CSS. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this gallery and I'm going to go into an uh, advanced and I'm going to set a class. Let's just call the class uh, rounded gallery, let's say. Okay, yeah, looks like I've done that before. Okay, rounded gallery, good. So I'm going to save the gallery. I'm going to say done and I'm going to publish. And of course it's not going to do anything visually. Why not? Because the rounded gallery class has no CSS styles. So we've made this um, class happen, but we haven't told um, the browser that this class really means anything. So you can see the module's got class rounded gallery, but it has no particular styles applied to it, so the images are still square. Next, what we need to do is we need to write our CSS. And to do that, I'm actually going to open a new tab. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I'm going to write my CSS in the customizer um, in the additional CSS section here. And it's a lot easier to work in Beaver Builder in one tab and the customizer in a second tab and have two tabs running than it is to, um, to be switching back and forth within one, one tab, which kind of takes forever. So we need to figure out CSS styles to make these images round. Well, you might think that the easiest thing we do is we just say rounded gallery. If you're of class, rounded gallery, you have a border radius of 50%, which would make an image a circle. That doesn't work. Why not? Because rounded gallery applies to the gallery, which contains all the images. So if I go into the Chrome browser inspector with inspect or control shift I, you can, and I do a control F find a search for rounded gallery and actually see where that is on the page. You can see that that class got added to the module, but all of the images are like, five or six layers deeper is where all the actual image elements are, the IMG tag. So if I try to add a border to the rounded gallery class, it's going to add it to the whole to the whole gallery, which is obviously not what we want because we're targeting the wrong element. So basically figuring this out is kind of case by case. You really want to use your browser inspector. I use Chrome. Firefox has like exactly the same thing. You just go to inspect. And you figure out, OK, rounded gallery, that's the class we added. But what are we really trying to target? We're trying to target anything that's an IMG, an image, inside rounded gallery. So we're just going to say rounded gallery image. Now all the images have black borders. But what we actually want is we want to dictate that the border radius is 50%. That makes these images into circles. So I'm just going to go ahead and publish my CSS change. And I'm going to kind of close this tab. And we'll see that um, that the changes took effect. Um, now we're not going to see this on this page until we reload. Uh, and then once we edit the page builder, it, it'll live update. So um, if I let this gallery continue to have this the class rounded gallery, then they'll they'll be round. But the moment I start typing, and it and I've renamed the CSS class and the styles no longer apply, it goes back to square. So. That's how you um, apply CSS styles um, to Beaver Builder elements. Thanks for watching.